Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be looking at a knife that I picked up a couple months ago while I was at Blade Show. This is by a company called The James Brand, and I actually found out about them while I was surfing around Instagram uh, earlier this year. I happened upon their page and I started looking at some of their pictures because they looked really awesome. They had a lot of their knives kind of like with um, nature themed uh, environments and things like that. So I visited their site and I started looking at some of their philosophies as to why they came up with their knives and I quickly fell in love with them. Uh, I just love the idea that they wanted to design a knife that was um, something new, uh, you know, it would something that a lot of people would want to carry, but not something that everybody is carrying. So they wanted to, for people to feel like it's their knife. So um, they put a lot of thought process into how they manufacture them and how to, they make them look and the materials and things like that. And I think they came out with a really awesome product. So um, this is one of their models. It comes in this box right here. Again, their name right there, James, and then their logo on the bottom here. Uh, nothing much in the back. This model is called The County, and this is in a walnut with stainless edition. So this sleeve right here slides off, and as you slide that off, you're greeted with this little felt, um, piece of felt right here. It's got, again, their logo kind of stitched on either side. And this is used just to uh, kind of sit on top of there to protect the knife itself. And here it is. Uh, I really love the presentation of this knife. It's kind of inlaid into this wooden block and it has, you know, their logo imprinted here. It looks really awesome. Again, this is something that if you wanted to, uh, you know, use this to kind of put the knife away, you know, every day as you come home or something like that, you're able to do so. Now, one thing they do mention is they don't want their knives to be looked at as works of art and just sitting on a mantle or something like that. They want you to go ahead and grab your knife and use it in whatever it is that you're going to need to. So let me go ahead and bring this knife out. And one of the ways that they show that is, again, this is the little sleeve that was covering it. And as you guys see here, it says the first cut. So I'll go ahead and open this knife up and I'll go ahead and do that. So you just slide the knife in there like you would um, if you were opening up a package or an envelope or something like that and just go ahead and cut it. And inside you have a little bit of information. So you have some information about the company, some knife care, uh, different things. So if you wanna, you know, go ahead and check them out, you know, they are on some of the different social medias and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Again, it, it kind of makes you believe that the knife is, you know, yours, it's designed for you to be used by you. So as you guys can see, this knife is a slip joint model. So if you live in an area where you can't ha have a locking blade, then this knife will come in handy. Uh, the blade itself is 2.5 inches and it's what they call a modified straight back. So the back is straight, but you do have a nice little belly right here, which um, is good for different types of cuts and things like that. Now, this particular knife, I would say, is perfectly suited for EDC tasks that are light to medium usage for opening up boxes, envelopes, cutting ropes, and things like that. I think it works great. Again, it is a slip joint, so it, it does not lock. So you want to go ahead and keep that in mind. Now, what they're calling this is the classic pocket knife reimagined. And I think that is a, um, a great way to view this knife. Uh, this is, in my opinion, what I would say a gentleman's carry knife. Again, there is no pocket clip on this, so I can easily see this uh, slipping into my pocket, um, you know, and, and just coming out to, you know, those do to do those light to medium tasks that this knife is perfectly suited for. The blade steel on this is Sandvik 12C27. I'm not really familiar with that blade steel, but I can tell you it's razor sharp out of the box and it performs very, very nicely. Uh, again, you know, the for light to medium usage is perfect for that. On the opposite end of the blade right here, you do have their brand. So again, James right there. And then on the very top here, you have a little bit of jimping. Um, again, it's not really necessary because of the light usage that you're going to be giving to this knife, but it's nice to have it on there. So you have the walnut scales on either side and it has the logo imprinted right there. Nothing on the opposite. And I like the fact that each and every one of these is going to be unique to itself because of the fact that they're using those walnut scales. Um, it's, you know, you're going to have different textures and different looks to the wood itself. So it's going to make each knife uh, specific to the user.
So then you have your stainless steel backspacer right here, and it feels really nice in the hand. It is, uh, it's got a little bit of weight to it, which is good because again, it's fairly thin and uh, it's, you know, the size, it's a little bit smaller. So you want some weight. So that way when you're using it, it's gonna feel substantial in your hands. So as you guys can see, I have a nice grip all the way around it. You do have a sizable lanyard hole here, so I would definitely throw a lanyard on there. Dual purpose, it gives me a little bit something else to hold on to, but also because this does not have a pocket clip and you're gonna be sliding it into a pocket, it'll give you a little bit something to go ahead and hold on to uh, if you wanna pull it out of your pocket or um, you know, if, if you wanna kinda adorn it, maybe throw a nice bead on there or something like that. So. It'll make it look uh, extra cool that way. So obviously you have your nail nick there. Now this does have a two stage opening and closing. So as you guys see there, you have your detent right at 90 degrees, which is really nice because if this were to accidentally close, um, it might not go all the way down and hit your fingers. So you have enough time to move your fingers out of the way. Uh, if not, when you go to and close it, just keep pushing it down. And as you guys saw there, it's uh. Uh, it's very tight, so it locks up very nicely, uh, or it closes very nicely, I should say. And then the same thing when you go to open it. Again, you have that two-stage, and then it opens really nice there. Now, obviously, this is a, or it should be a two-handed opening and closing knife. Um, again, this is not something that uh, you're going to be whipping out of your pocket and opening it right away. This is, again, by all intents and purposes, what I would consider a gentleman's carry folder. Uh, this will look really, really nice in dress slacks. Or, again, if you want to go ahead and throw them in your jeans and stuff like that, they do specify that they want you to use their knives. They want you to take them out to, you know, whatever it is that you're going to be needing it for and using it, not just keeping it, uh, you know, looking pretty or anything like that. So, uh, again, this is... The model is called the County. Now this model does come in a couple different uh, handle scales. So uh, if you don't like the Walnut, they do have a couple other options available. And they do have uh, another model knife that is more uh, kind of like EDC related. You know, they have a pocket clip and a thumb stud and stuff like that. I will leave a link below to their site. So if you want to go ahead and check them out, uh, they also are there on Instagram and some of the other social medias. Um, like I said, I kind of found them on Instagram. So if you want to see some really awesome pictures of their knives, you know, out and about and stuff like that, you have Instagram, go ahead and check them out. If not, like I said, I'll leave a link below to the site itself. So there it is. That is the County in Walnut and Stainless from the James brand. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.